Hey, this is Rob with Right Designs, and uh, we're here to do a little shop talk today. And I want to talk about the difference for me between the Davidson Audio speaker system and the Power Band speaker system. And uh, that's what this video will be all about. All right, we're back. And I did some research on the differences between the Davidson Audio and the power band speaker system that you can buy with the Indian uh, Pursuit or Challenger. So originally I bought my Indian Pursuit for 2022, a uh, premium package, and I assumed that the premium package came with six and a half speakers um, in actual fairing because I thought premium meant premium speakers but it didn't it came with five and a quarter I think the 2023s came with five and a quarter and uh, there's nothing really premium about that that speaker um, so I researched and uh, read all the Facebook forums and uh, saw everybody talking about Davison audio and I started talking with Davison audio uh, about what packages he had at the time now I've had my system in for a year and I love it um, the clarity, the loudness. Um, you can get loudness out of the power band, but the clarity is not there as far as I can hear out of other guys' pursuits and challengers. So I did a little research. Um, a year ago, you couldn't go to a Davidson Audio web page and find his uh, packages. And I think I paid about the same amount for the package I got for my bike, and I was probably one of the first pursuits that he uh, made a package for. And um, so at the time, uh, they didn't have Takeda five and a quarters, but they did have Diamond five and a quarters. So I bought a eight speaker package, and in that eight speaker package uh, comes with Takeda six and a halfs, Takeda six and a halfs for the the uh, saddlebag. I put Diamond Audio in the tour pack, and Diamond Audio in the lowers. Now, what I did do is I did some research, and I wanted to run some numbers. And because I think most people don't really know those numbers. And so for the, let's say minus uh, using Davidson Audio or the power band, and you buy a Pursuit, Indian Pursuit. So the Indian Pursuit lowers don't come with speaker pods. Um, and they don't come with speaker lids. And so uh, you have to buy all that, right? So I did the calculation minus tax. The speaker lids are 550. The speaker lid bezels are 275, and I'm sure you can find them cheaper through eBay or something. The lower speaker pods, because they come with just like a cubby hole, those are 139. And the lower speaker pod bezels cover the speaker are $210. Um, so the total before tax is eleven hundred and seventy four dollars um, that that's beyond even adding a speaker off the get-go so you would have to buy that stuff if you went like a stock look you'd have to buy that stuff no matter what either for Davidson audio or for the Indian side of the house so that doesn't matter you're already in the pocket pocketbook 1174 all right so let's talk about the package that you get from matter of fact let's go into the Indian stuff first because I think that's more important so now they come with a ba ba uh, excuse me a base boost package and that's about 130 bucks to add that software and uh, I've heard some bikes have it some bikes don't have it now and some who knows I don't really know I really don't care uh, but let's just talk about the speakers all right so for fairing speakers the power band speakers with a base boost, six and a half, are six hundred fifty dollars. The lower fairing speakers, five and a quarter power band speakers with a base boost, are seven hundred dollars. The saddlebag speakers with base boost and underglow, six and a halfs, come with the secondary amp. So you have to have a secondary amp to power that, and that's nine hundred dollars. And then lastly, let's just say that you want to upgrade the trunk speakers 
um, or you blew the trunk speakers. And the power band audio trunk speakers with bass boost for for the accessories is five and a quarter. And those are six hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, so total for all the speaker system, just for the speakers, plus you get the extra amp, so you'll have two amps in the fairing, is twenty nine hundred dollars without tax. Okay. Now I haven't mentioned, I mean, you could probably put that in yourself. A lot of people can. I put mine in myself, the data and audio package. So, so I also did another calculation, right? Let's just say you leave the trunk speakers in because you really don't care about them and you wanted the fairing, the lowers, and the bag, saddlebag speakers. That would be $2,250. $2,250. Okay. That's minus installation. Um, I'm guessing you'd probably in it three hours or four hours of installation. Um, the actual pursuit, um, once you upgrade to six and a half, it gives you a nine band EQ. I do want to make that a, you initially have a five band EQ and then it goes to a nine band EQ when you put the six and a halfs in there. And then all you do, there's a slot for the secondary uh, power band amplifier. So you put two amplifiers in and they're plug and play. So in essence, the Indian side of the house, it's all plug and play. Okay, so let's go to the Davison audio. So the speakers alone, first of all, his package, and this is off his website. Um, it's the Indian Challenger Pursuit 8-speaker package. That's what I have. That's what I'm going off with. Off with okay. $4,119. That's on his website. You can find that all day long. But this is what it includes. It says our final package includes a whopping eight speaker setup. The complete aftermarket package is no doubt our largest and loudest of them all. It's ideal for someone who shares with us the same love of music. Like the rest of our studio audio solutions, this package is going to start in the fairing of your Indian Challenger Pursuit. It's then going to be paired with your lower fairing saddlebag lids and tour pack. Okay, when you purchase your eight-speaker audio package, you'll receive the standard two-speaker fairing setup, custom fairing shroud, preamp fairing harness, custom fairing amp plate, custom fairing DSP plate, power and ground harness, passive fairing harness, DSP, time delay module, RCA cables, four-channel, 800-watt amplifier, six-and-a-half coaxial horn speakers, custom speaker spacers. In addition, you'll receive the following products, five and a quarter pro, Coax speakers, passive lower fairing harness, passive tour pack harness, six and a half coax waterproof speakers, passive saddlebag lid harness. Okay. So, just kind of talk about that, and I might be misspoken a little bit, so I'm just going to do my best with this, right? I probably, I try to put the numbers together. Okay. Now, I understand he has a business, the Davidson Audio has a business, so he's going to get the speakers cheaper than what I can buy them offline. But I went off online prices that I would go through any online, you know, Amazon, whatever company. Okay. The Cicada 6.5 Quaxo speakers are $550. So you need those times two, that's $1,100. The Cicada 5 and a quarter speakers, let's, go, let's say you go with those, because you can go with Diamond Audio or whomever. Is $778 because they're $389 pair. Then you do sound digital, your 800 watt four channel. It's $500. And I don't know if there's a times two in this price or it's just one, but let's say you get two of them, that's $1,000 for the sound digital that I can buy off the internet. Next is your DSP Rockford Fosgate. So what is a DSP? Basically, a DSP is a way, it basically gives you, uh, what I understand, approximately 31 channels of EQ, meaning you can change everything from, let's say, 20 hertz all the way up to, you know, kHertz. So it's, that's your lows, that's your mids, that's your highs. And uh, when I got my DSP set up from Davidson Audio, it was already set up uh, from him. So, a DS, uh, I think it's DSR Rockford Fosgate or DSP, just some reference, is $350. And if you get like a Hertz one, it can be $500. So the spectrum is 
350 to 500. Okay, let's just put that total together. That's 32, that's $3,228. That's for me buying it off uh, the internet. Okay, now get this. His total package is basically $4,120. So you have, he basically has $890, and this is what he's giving you for the $890. So the 800, that, excuse me, the $3,200 $3, excludes this the fairing shroud, the preamp harness, the amp plates that he has designed. The fairing DSP plate, which he includes with um, that whole system when he ships it out to you. The harnesses, all the harnesses are made up. They have amphenol ends on them. Um, they're already, you have to do a little bit of drilling, a little bit of screwing, but other than that, you just run that, those harnesses. Really easy. The time delay module, and what that does is allows your screen to pull up. Gives it time to pull the screen up so it doesn't hear a big old pop when the DSP is on and the whole system is on. And the module speaker spacers. And lastly but not least is the Dyson Audio Expertise. Why do I bring that up? Well, you know, it's easy to go buy a system online and thinking you know what you're doing. And, you know, I've been in audio a little bit here and there, but. It's, it's gone to a different level where I don't know everything about it. So when I, look, when I did this install, and you'll see the videos if you really care, you can go back and watch all the videos. But when I did the install of this, um, I actually figured out that one of the amplifiers wasn't working. And so um, Brandon and I went back and forth. He helped me troubleshoot it out. He troubleshot it out to a bad amplifier. Um, I had to send out that amplifier to um, Sound Digital. I believe that's who I sent it out to. And he sent me a brand new um, Sound Digital amplifier. I think it was within two days, and I was up and running. Um, the other thing was I was having issues initially before that trying to get the DSP uh, to turn on that amplifier because I thought it was just, you know, not me turning on the speakers or something was up. And, uh, you know, he spent probably a good hour with me on just that, you know. so. I guess what I'm trying to get at is um, I see a lot of the Facebook posts about, you know, it's not worth it, it's not this, but if you're an audiophile, it's a different level of sound that you're getting out of a quality sound system. And I mean, just comparably, the magnets of the speakers compared to the power band magnets are like three times the size. The clarity, you can't get the same clarity out of a power band. And it is. It's an Indian product, right? Um, are you going to get quality out of a power band um, speaker system? Sure. Uh, I, think you, I think you will. I mean, it'll be loud enough at 80 miles an hour. I mean, do you, you know, are you going to hear all the highs anyway and all the lows? No. Um, but I do know that with my Vasani exhaust uh, that anybody that I ride with uh, cries to me about because it's super loud. And I can have my speakers set at like nine and I can actually hear the music and actually know hear all the tones and, and what they're singing and so forth. Uh, I've had other audio systems and other bikes. You could do that. I mean, I'd have it on 11 trying to hear anything and it would be barely just a little glimpse. Now, I ride with loud pipes. Uh, so that's you know one thing. If you have your stock Indian pipe, the power band will probably be just great. Uh, so that's something to consider. But for approximately, so what I, what I did here also was I took the 4120 that um, Brandon put together for a package. And if I minus the 2900 uh, that would cost you for Indian, um, that difference is about $1,200. Okay. Again, $1,200 though, which, this is what you're not getting. You're not getting a fairing shroud, and that fairing shroud is going to protect your amplifier from rain because rain just goes whoop, right down, right? Um, you're not going to get a 31 channel EQ system. You're only getting nine channels, which most people probably wouldn't know the difference. Um, 
you're not going to get um, a time delay module, but you don't probably need a time delay module with the Fox system. Uh, but the one thing you're not going to get is the clarity and the precision of the notes, I believe, that you get from the Davidson audio system. Um, when you crank it up on an Indian, you're really starting to, to get to that threshold where everything just starts to kind of uh, amplify to a level where it's not even clear anymore. Where the cicadas and the Davidson audio system, you crank it up to 10, I mean, you still hear the clarity. It's still there. It's still happening. Every note, um, it's, it's punching. Um, and again, with Davidson Audio, you can. Um, I'm not. I'm not doing advertisement for him. I just. I back up his company, man. The guy is a super dude, easy to talk with. Um, and again, I emailed him. Um, we went back and forth with that, like in a good way, um, until we came to a package deal where. This is what I wanted, and this is what he could offer. And I said, yeah, let's do it. And uh, he had to put it together. And this is when he was in Arizona still. So it, was, uh, it wasn't when he was in his Panama City um, location. So that's the thing just to think about. Um, I just see a lot of people going back and forth. That's not worth it. And it's, you know, if you're the average guy that rides his bike and he's okay with the five and a quarters in it, yeah, it's not going to be good for you. You don't really don't care. Um, the one thing we didn't also add in there is that base boost. For a hundred thirty dollars software upgrade that India now charges um, with the new uh, power band speakers, and again at eighty miles an hour, I'm not really sure if you're going to hear a lot of that bass anyway. And you know if you really truly want bass, you can get with Davidson Audio and put bass in your speaker, and he already has all the bezels and everything for that. So if you're going to go that route. Um, I would upgrade anyway to a Davidson Audio speaker system. Again, I'm, this is not being paid by anybody. This is me doing a little shop talk in my in my shop and uh, just trying to give you my two bits about what I see, what what I read about. People are talking about the Davidson Audio comparably to the power band speaker system. One last note. I can't emphasize uh, how the expertise of the Davison Audio Group is until you start dealing with those guys and you know he'll work with you too if it's you know you want to like a cheaper speaker or you don't want you know the same quality speaker. All you gotta do is email him, say, hey, this is what I want to do. In essence, really truly, you know, with the two speakers just in front, you're probably gonna have more than enough. I just wanted to go a little bit overboard. And uh, so again, those are my two bits. Uh, a lot of you will be happy with your power band and probably wouldn't know the difference. Um, but it's the same thing with hi-fi, low-fi. If you're a hi-fi guy, you probably have a really nice stereo system in your house. If you're a low-fi guy, you probably have a little boom box in your house. So um, that's my two bits. Hope you enjoyed this small little video. And uh, love to see your comments. I'm sure there's going to be some bad ones and some good ones. But uh, I thought, what the hell, why not put this together? Later.